love the coming in today. We just love the Cosmia story, such a fabulous history and products, and we just thought we might come in and find out a bit about where you started and everything. So can you tell me a bit about the backstory of Cosmia? Absolutely. While I was uh, very, very young, even at a teenage um, age group, I was actually mixing up my own concoctions. So I loved, yeah, putting together, you know, masks made out of avocado and yogurt and honey. And I used to, um, you know, experiment on my girlfriends and on myself. And as I was growing up in my early 30s, I was mixing a facial mask yep. and the recipe called for rose hips, but I never had any growing in my garden. So I decided to go to the local rose farm and ask them if I could pick, pick their rose hips so I could actually put them in my mask. And they gladly said yes, and then they handed me an editorial um, which was out of a rose magazine that talked about rose hip oil in South America and how they were using it in burns clinics and scar management clinics and for um, after sun care. So I instantly forgot about picking my rose hips <laughs> and I just got so engrossed in this article yeah. and I call it my light bulb mo moment yeah. <laughs> because I thought I've got to get home and find out where I could get hold of some of this oil from because I've got to get that out into the marketplace. So I drove home and back in 1993 we never had you know, mobile phones or the internet, yeah. so I, I found out that I could go to the um, yellow pages in the city, and that would actually, it's a Telstra office, and it gives you every country of every yellow pages. Oh. So I found the Chilean um, yellow page, and found the supplier of Rosehip, went back, drove back home, photocopied the page, uh, bought myself a fax machine and a, and a typewriter, an old typewriter, you know, the old ones with the little round, yeah. you know, <laughs> key, key strokes. Yeah. And, uh, and then I typed up a fax in Spanish and sent it to them and asked them if I could buy some rosehip oil. And they wrote back and said, look, your uh, Spanish is pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, our English is better than your Spanish, so you can please communicate in Spanish. So I asked them if I could buy um, a drum of rosehip oil and they gladly said yes. Um, but it was a lot of money back then and yeah. I convinced my husband to uh, sell the family car wow. um, and swap it for a drum of rosehip oil. All from an article you All from read. an article out oh, of wow. a rose That's, that's rose belief, farm. that's a good light bulb moment. It is, very much so. And I guess for myself being a mum of three and my youngest was a year and a half old, yeah. I didn't really have marketing experience but what I did have was passion and belief yeah. that this rosehip oil will work and it, I've got to get it in the hands of every consumer. So. That so was the exciting part. When you got the drum, had you not even tried the product itself yet? No, I just believed so, that yeah. it was going to be good. That's yeah. amazing. Because I'd read so much, you know, all the good article about it that I thought, and I remember as a child being brought up on rose hip syrup. Yeah. So our mums gave us that for the vitamin C content. Yeah. Not realising that it was full of sh sugar. Yeah. But, um, but still, you, got, you have a good affiliation with rose hip. So you got the drum home, what next? How did you get it out there? Good question, Yelena. Yeah, we actually, after we bottled it and designed the label and when, um, you know, had all the packaging done, basically I bought myself an old bomb and got myself a beautiful suit and went out cold selling into the health food stores. Oh, wow. They were my first test to market. Yeah. And when I walked into the health food store, I gave the owner a free bottle yeah, of rose right. because I knew that if he or she used it, they would get fantastic results instantly and then they would be my spokesperson of selling the product you know in the store which is what actually happened yeah so health food stores were the first port of call and then followed by pharmacies <laughs> and so were you the first rose hip oil in australia yes we are we're wow. the first rose hip oil 1993 and then we had obviously other uh, brands um, bring out rose hip oil and yeah. were, was it an overnight success? Like, did you kind of, you, you got it out there and then what, what happened next? Yeah, so it was an overnight success because it was a product that instantly worked. So within a week of somebody using our rose hip oil, they got results yeah. and they were getting comments on their skin, how beautiful their skin looked yeah. and what they were doing had they been on holidays. Yeah. So the word spread quite quickly. And then as we actually grew, we did a little bit of advertising in the Sunday Mail. Okay. And so we got the word out there more and then we developed um, the markets in other states, you know, Victoria and yeah. Sydney and Queensland yeah. and so forth. Yeah. 
And so I'm presuming you moved from doing it at home in the um, in the backyard with the labels and stuff. Do yes. you start getting manufacturing out in Australia, or how did that kind of work that process? Absolutely, we grew too big out of making it out of our kitchen, <laughs> yeah. yes, and our dining table, yeah. and then we finally found a manufacturer that could bottle the product for us because we grew very very quickly. Oh, brilliant! And did yeah. you are you still getting the drums sent from the original? manufacturer overseas? No, because in, yeah, in 2001, 2002, we found a supplier of rose hips in Africa. Yeah. So our rose hips now grow wild in Africa, in Lesotho, and they're hand-picked by communities. So oh, it grows naturally so in the natural cute. rainfall, it's hand-picked, yeah. and then it's um, sold to us as a company, and then we supercritically extract our rose hip which actually gives us up to 10 times more vitamin A than any rosehip oil on the market. Amazing. So is that kind of how you position yourself differently from your competitors? Yes, we're miles ahead of any of our competitors because like I said, we independently test their rosehip oil and our rosehip oil with yeah. an independent laboratory <laughs> and we came back, come back with results up to 10 times more vitamin A content. Beautiful. And um, how closely do you work with the formulators on producing these products? Very closely. I'm actually part of the R&D team okay. because yeah. that's my passion is putting yeah. together formulas, yeah. but not university trained, yeah. trained by the universe, yeah, yeah. I guess. So like I've, when you were young and yes. doing your potions in the, in the exactly. kitchen. Exactly. It's a little bit like cooking, you know, yeah. when, you, when you make a recipe, um, the first time you'll do it to the recipe and then the second time and the third time you'll start to experiment. And that's what I do with the Cosmia formulas and I challenge the chemists. <laughs> Um, because they say to me, you know, we might as well rip up our degree because <laughs> you defy all of chemistry with what you want us to put in the formula. Yeah, yeah. but then you come out with these amazing products. Exactly so right, it's yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And how long does it take you from an idea to, you know, a finished product? It's usually about 12 months in the process of, um, you know, coming up with the idea and then working through the R&D side of it and we end up getting a prototype up to about 23, 24 before we actually get it right because right. there's a lot of testing involved yeah. as well. Yeah. And just lastly, where do you see Cosmia heading in the future? Well we're actually an international company now and our export has grown very much so we are developing our export markets very strong, strongly at the moment and particularly the Asian markets because at the moment Australian natural skincare is the flavour of the month yeah, for Chinese, bet. yes. Oh, so. brilliant. Well, fabulous. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It was so lovely to hear the story from you and such yeah. an amazing brand and product. So My thank pleasure. You.